dating and relationships. Here we go. All right. Subject today, man them. Do not move in with a female if you don't have. Do not move in with a female unless you have. Do not move in with a female unless you have. Fuck you money. Fuck you money. Now, what do I mean by that? What do I mean by fuck you money? Right. So, you're seeing a girl. It could be a girl you're just sleeping with or a girl that you're saying is your girlfriend, yeah? You and her boyfriend and girlfriend, right? So, let's say you've, you're living in your flat, your tenancy agreement is about to expire. Or you're still living at home with your mum. Or you're homeless. Or sofa serving or whatever, yeah? So, you're getting in more close with a girl. You know, you're staying at a house few nights a week you know what i'm saying or you're in a relationship relationship's going good relationship's going good you know you're getting pussy whipped yeah and you think you get comfortable and shit right either you just start staying a bit too much and then default you just move in or she says yeah why don't you move in mine why don't you start leaving your clothes at mine and then you think, yeah, you know what? I'm feeling this girl right now. You know what? I had a bag of other girl I've seen, but I'm feeling this girl right now. She's the one. Or maybe she's just already your girlfriend. Yeah? And then you say, so you let your tenancy agreement run out in your flat. Or you move out of wherever you're living. Move out of your mum's house or wherever. Yeah? Or you stop sofa serving or whatever. And you move in with the girl. And let's say you don't have fuck you money saved. A couple of things could happen. So if the relationship goes sour, like a lot of relationships do, you're going to find that you're staying there just because you don't have nowhere to go. And then you've got to toler tolerate the girl's bullshit. Because you ain't got money saved. Either you don't earn enough money, or you ain't got a job, or you're doing dumb shit with your money, and now you're in this girl's house, a few months down the line, or a few years down the line, or whatever, and you're stuck. Why are you stuck? Because you didn't have fuck you money. So almost, you might be in a situation where you're trying to make a relationship work because you, you ain't got nowhere else to go. This girl ain't good for you, but... Or maybe she's good for you, but maybe you don't want her no more for whatever reason. Yeah? Or maybe she cheats on you, blood. Maybe she cheats on you. Yeah? But you ain't got fuck you money. And that, and that you might end up doing a madness. Whatever the madness is, you could probably think of various scenarios. Or you cheat on the girl and you get dash out. Which I'm not condoning cheating, by the way. Right? But you ain't got your fuck you money. Whatever the situation is, you know what? If if you and the girl, you know, live happily ever after, get married, it's all good. Yeah? We're living in 2020. Not all relationships last. Not all relationships last, right? So whether you're sleeping with a girl or whether it's your girlfriend, do not move in with her unless you have fuck you money. Now, what is fuck you money? Fuck you money is you got enough money, you got enough passive income or you got enough money saved or whatever. You've you just got income that you know, whether it's income or savings or whatever. Yeah, you know, you got fuck you money there so that if anything, even, it doesn't have to be cheating. Just the girl start badding you up in the yard. Oh, you must come back at this time or what? Whatever the weather, you know, you can think of millions of, the, of scenarios, yeah? But for whatever reason, you're not happy there anymore. You've got that money where the moment you decide you're unhappy, you don't need to do no arguing. You just, bye. <laughs> it's not always have to be like that. Obviously, you know, you can actually split from someone, like, mutual consent. But nevertheless, how, however it ends, whether it's, you know, mutual consent or or whether it's beef or whatever, yeah? 
If you got your fucking money, you can walk out the door today. If you're watching this video, if you're living with a chick, yeah, whether it's your girl or just a girl that you just happen to default end up staying at a house, can you walk away today? Financially, can you walk away today? Because you know anything, anything, anything can happen, anything can happen. Can you walk away today? So I'm saying this to you guys. I'm motivating, I'm trying to motivate you, yeah, to make sure do not move into a girl's house unless you've got fucking money. Let's say, for example, now you, you're renting a flat, yeah? Let's just say, hypothetically speaking, your rent is, let's say, £750 a month, yeah? £750 a month rent. you getting close with your girl now, yeah? You want to move into a yard. So she's got her yard. You want to move into her yard, yeah? You're paying £750 a month rent. You move out of your yard to move in a firm. Here's my advice. This, this might sound like a mad thing, yeah? Here's my advice. Open a savings account, or if you've got a savings account that you don't use, or whatever way you want to do it, yeah? Continue to pay £750 rent, but you're no longer paying it to your land. You're paying it to yourself. You don't want to get out of that habit of paying £750 a month. Why? Because if shit hits, hits the fan tomorrow, if shit hits the fan in a month, in six months, nine months, whatever, you're already used to paying that £750 a month. You could then go and get a flat. The money you just saved is just a bonus. You could use that for whatever you want in the future. You lot should all be saving anyway, but that's that's another channel. That's another video, yeah? But that's my advice. If you're paying rent, yeah, already, and you move into a chick's house, continue to just pay yourself that rent. Just save that money. Just save that money. Or, or... Let's say in the same scenario, you're paying £750 a month a rent. Let's just say her rent is £750 a month as well. And then the agreement is you pay half. So pay half. Pay the £325 a month. But then pay another £325 a month in your account. So you're still used to paying out that £750. You need to have that fuck you money. You need to be used to... You need to be used to... Um... <laughs> My phone said low battery. You need to be used to paying that money out. You need to just be ready to go. You need to have money saved. Plus, in addition, I believe you, sh you should still be doing something where you're used to paying that, that rent money. Yeah, because when shit hits the fan blood, you don't want to be in a relationship that you don't want to be in just because your back is up against the wall. Yeah, obviously, there's some waste men out there that don't give a shit. That is not about their purpose, not about their life. Some men are just going to be bummed. Some men don't care about staying. But I'm just talking about you man that, you know, you want the best out of your life. And you don't want to be stuck in a relationship, yeah? You don't want to be stuck in a situation where you've got some job where you're not earning enough money. You're, you're at, you've got poor spending habits. You're at a, a girl's house, your girlfriend or whoever, or, or whatever girl you're seeing. Shit hits the fan, right? She starts trying to bad you up or call you a waste man or stop giving you sex or whatever the weather, Yeah? And you, and you can't walk away today, it's not good. It's not good, blood. So make sure, I'm not saying don't move in with a gallina, but make sure you've got that fuck you money saved, yeah? And if you are already paying rent, yeah, continue to pay yourself. Just bang that in the savings account. That's what I'm used to paying, I bang that. I'm paying her some rent, the rest of the amount that, I'm used, that I used to pay, that I'm used to paying, in that, in that example, 325, 325, Pay the rest of that to yourself, yeah? Make sure you got fuck you money. So live in the relationship freely, yeah? Be free in a relationship. Be free to walk away. You know what I'm saying? And that's a little part of having an abundance mindset. But we're going to talk about that more in future videos. This video has been long already. And I did say earlier in the video that it benefits the girl as well. Yes, it does benefit you ladies. You ladies that may be watching. Because at least if your man has got fuck you money you know that the man ain't with you because he ain't got no other options. He's with you because he wants to be with you. Man them, have that fuck you money.